How many horses are in the yard? 90. 90. We, we, we cater for 92, so there's always a fluctuation. Yeah. And we have a farm up the road with Ronnie Boland, a friend of ours who's a farm in Kilcock. And he, any horse coming from sales, or they never come straight into the shard. They go to his mm -hmm. farm first. Or if we're spelling a horse, which means giving a horse a break, they'll go to his farm first. And then we'll always have one or two or four or five down in Collins. Colin is just down the road yeah. in Trim. And so basically, if you're in here, you're, you're ready for hard work. Yeah. So I don't need horses here that are next year horses, yeah, yeah. you know. You're having a great year and things seem to be going well and well. Are you aiming higher now all the time? Are you very ambitious that way? Um, yeah, terribly ambitious, but it's, uh, well, you have to. You have to be ambitious to do the job. You have to be improving every year as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you, 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 we're, we're training, we're running up against the best in the world, which yeah, is Aidan O'Brien, Dermot Weld, Jim Bulger, every day of the week. So it's, you, you know, if you use the golf analogy, if you want to be a good golfer, play with good golfers. And I'm playing with the best. Now, you can accept and be where you are, or you can strive for improvement, and that's what we do every year.